Uh, we're going to do an example today on how CAD data is transferred from SOLIDWORKS into ANSYS, then into uh, Workbench, and into Mechanical, and then we'll make some more changes and uh, modify things in uh, Design Modeler. So we'll open up uh, Workbench. Okay, so the geometry um, uh, cell automatically opens up, and we'll right-click on that. And we will, uh, well, first we'll go over to Static Structural and um, drop uh, that directly into the geometry. Uh, there's the data sharing uh, symbol. So we'll right-click on that and open Mechanical. Okay, so let's go back to, here was our part in uh, SolidWorks. Here's our part in Mechanical. And let's just put a mesh on there. Generate mesh. Keep the uh, default relevance uh, to zero. Uh, looks okay. So let's go back to SolidWorks and let's change that base plate. Uh, let's, um, well, let's change it to a uh, thicker base plate. Uh, maybe a two inch thick. Accept that. Do a rebuild. Return. Save that data. Okay, so we'll go back into mechanical. And um, the easiest way generally for just geometry changes is just to go over to geometry and right click and refresh geometry. Okay, then we can right click and uh, generate mesh. Okay, looks pretty good. So there are other, are other processes. Uh, if you go up to um, the schematic page, uh, let's just go ahead and do that. We'll go back to um, SolidWorks and we'll change, uh, let's change that hole from a four inch to a half inch hole. Uh, rebuild that, uh, do a save, go back into the here so we can uh, right here we can right click on geometry and we can do an update from CAD you wouldn't do an update and these mean different things depending on uh, where you're at so usually uh, the other free refresh geometry or update from CAD uh, those two work good a little faster when you're in mechanical and, and uh, doing that but you can do it at that stage too. Go back in and sure enough the uh, hole is smaller. Uh, do a generate mesh. Okay, so if you take CAD data directly into mechanical, you see the nodes and elements don't exactly line up. But there was some connections, uh, some contacts, and we'll take a look at those. So there was a bonded contact. Uh, bonded uh, between the lug and base plate. Zoom back a little bit. Um, let's hide that. You can see the other surface that's uh, bonded together. So if you wanted to share the topology, uh, you'd have to pull that into Design Modeler. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go back to the schematic page and right-click on Geometry. Edit Geometry, and uh, that will bring up Design Modeler. And what we need to do is create a multi-body part. back to a generate. Let's see we have a lightning bolt here and uh, so we have to do a generate when that uh, comes up. 
Okay, so the thicker base, uh, the small hole changes aren't here. And it does show that the source file in Design Modeler is uh, that SolidWorks assembly file. Um, what we can do is there are two individual parts, just like in SolidWorks, pop that up. It was an assembly. It was an assembly uh, of uh, two individual pieces. And typically how you do it if uh, in in a CAD package uh, so they're individual parts so you can uh, detail those parts rather than uh, one part. Go back into Design Modeler but if we want to um, share the topology we can identify the parts we want to combine into a um, multi-body part, form new part. So there they are under a uh, new part called part you can rename that if you want. So we'll go back now into mechanical and um, we'll go into geometry, right click, refresh geometry. Okay, then we'll generate a mesh. Now you can see that the nodes and elements line up. and that there's no uh, contacts anymore. You look under connections and uh, there isn't any contacts between those two parts anymore. So that was uh, taken care of. So if this was a casting, uh, that would be more accurate. So let's go back into SolidWorks and make another change. So we'll go back in and uh, uh, let's make that hole back uh, large again. Rebuild, save, then we'll go into Design Modeler, and it's a little different now. When you make a change that uh, in, in SolidWorks or your CAD package and you have to pull it in Design Modeler, you have to go back into Attach, and uh, the only really way to update that is to go down here. Once you've selected Attach, there's a Refresh and you can click on uh, Use Geometry. Then it changes to a lightning bolt, needs, an, uh, needs a generate. Click on Generate. Should see that hole get uh, larger again. Okay, then we'll go back into Mechanical. Now, uh, Geometry, uh, Refresh Geometry. Generate Mesh. So the no again, there's our changes. And that was really the process to make a change in SolidWorks, update it in Design Modeler, and then pull it into Mechanical for uh, meshing and analysis.